Hello, my crafty friends. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because my husband's sleeping. Um, I just wanted to show you a little project I'm working on. Um, this is going to be a paper mache dress form. As you can see right now, I've already got um, pretty much so done except for putting the this brown paper. I've got to glue the ground, brown, brown paper over it. What I have done with the paper, this this piece here, I'm just going to kind of give you a little show down. And we'll turn it this way. As you can see, there's the shape of, of her back. has a little shape there. The shoulders. Um, it's got the neck and the waistline. In the back, it's, you know, shaped like a female. And then on the sides, on the side again, here you go. Um, I had to make sure the breasts were even across. Um the neck part and this is how it turned out what I did is I took if you have magazines I used the Martha Stewart mag magazine and I ran out of the magazine so I ended up using the rest with newspaper so what you do is you take um, pieces of new newspaper about the page of a magazine so if it's a, a so if it's like, say for example, um, this size here, or the, you know, you know how most papers have the double sides like that. Well, anyway, I, I cut it in half, then I ripped, ripped this in half, balled it up really tight, and um, made sure that it was nice and tight. And just balled up, um, I balled them up as I, I went so I wouldn't have to be out. But if you see, that's just a little bit smaller. But the regular, larger newspaper um, might be a little bit larger than that one. Um, what I did is, like I said, I balled these up in, in very tight balls. And I used my glue gun. And I glued the balls together. And down here, I started at the bottom first. I did row one, row two, row three, row four, row five. Five balls this way and five balls that way. So I glued them all together and this is how they would turn out. And then I took masking tape. I used the, I think this is like the one inch masking tape. You can get the larger tape if you want to. I think the larger would have been better. But the only thing I had available was the one inch. So then what you do is you take, after you get this glued, you take some masking tape and just tape it tightly um, around to give it a little bit of a shape down here. You're not going to get it exactly perfect to start out with. So then you go five of these, four of these, row three is three of three of these, and as you are doing each five of these, like say you've got all five rows of this plus the five rows that go downwards glued together you, you just glue it all together um, when you get the second row of balls you just glue it like that and then you glue the, the third row until you get the, the five rows this way and five rows that way well anyway um, you go five then you go four then you go three 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 and then up here, you do four by four, and then four by four, only two times, two rows, because you got to fit in some breast. And then what you do is you take two balls, and you put them together like this, really tight, very, very tight. And then you put them on the, the chest, you glue it together, put it on the chest area and you try to shape it and then you go down um, this this row here you do four by four and then you do one two balls of the paper that way and that's um, then you tape that up and then you glue to this and then you put one ball on here shape it one ball on here shape it and at the same time that you're doing this, you mask and tape as you're going along. Don't put a whole lot of mask and tape to start out with. Just get your shape started first. 
after you get your shapes started, then you take um, the masking tape and you go over and keep draping over and over to cover up all the newspaper. And this also, if you have like a bulge up here that's in the way, it, it, it cuts it down. So then you have that shaped. So this is what I have come down, turned out to be. Now I'm going to do a part two tomorrow and uh, show you, or because it's nighttime today, so um, I'm not going to show this video until um, I get the second part done. That way you can get to see the, the first part and the second done. Now the, the second part you do, now that you've got this shaped, you get you a bowl of, of water and glue. And what you do is you put half water, half glue into, um, mix it together. You can use it in a little cup, paintbrush. And then you take your cardboard paper here and you, t you, you tear the paper into different shapes. And you get the, you know, you put the paper over top and you make sure it's wet and you just keep gluing until you finally get the whole thing covered. And then it will harden and then once it hardens, it looks, it, it becomes a paper mache dress form. So you've seen the rough part of this and you, you know, it's, it doesn't look all that fantastic just yet because it's not finished. But this is how you can make a dress form. And this dress form here is not the average small, small size. I made it where I can make it larger because I want it to be somewhat tall. I want to find a, a, a tall candlestick. So this will be more than a, probably when I get done with it, it might be, let's see. I measure it, it's it's foot. So this is 12 feet, I mean, um. 12 inches by um, 7 inches and you can actually make them larger you know one larger if you want to I went by 12 inches by 7 inches and I might find a 6 inch candle holder I'd like to find maybe a tw um, 12 inch candle holder if, if I can or a 10 inch can, well maybe about 8 inch candle holder. If I can find something about 8 inches, um, 6 to 8 inches, I can, de I can deal with that and make a stand for it. So it's going to be anywhere from 18 to 24 inches tall when I get done with it. So it's not going to be really a small dress form. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go. Uh, I just wanted to let you see, you know, show you my first beginning stages of my dress form because now I'm getting ready to do my, my gluing part. And um, it's kind of late at night and I don't want to wake my husband up, you know, showing the to tutorial and him hearing me tearing paper. But this is um, how it will look when you get done with the, the paper balls. And the price of this so far has cost me just the, the, the price of the masking tape. Um, the magazines and the newspapers, um, I already had those uh, by hand, and I was getting the ma magazine for free because I bought uh, some Martha Stewart supplies a while back ago, and I got the magazine su subscription for free. So, um, pretty much so, the only thing I've paid so far is the masking tape. The brown paper came out of a box that I, I got today. today. Um, from Civics, it was packed in the, the the box, so it's packing paper. So I'm going to use that, and um, so basically, uh, the only thing that, like I said, the cost will be the masking tape, the um, the glue, and um, if you don't have a paintbrush, you may have to buy that. But pretty much, so we all have paintbrushes. So basically, it's your, just your glue. So everything that I'm making right now, I have gotten for free except for the masking tape and you only need one roll so that's that's fairly reasonable to make a 12 inch dress form um i hope you like what i have made so far and when i get ready to show you part two and there will be a part three of this dress form because i plan on decorating it up but i just want to do the paper mache part first and um the shape of it first show you that you can make your own dress forms 
and then um, after you get them made, then you can decorate them, and you don't have to pay a large, large amount for a very pretty dress form. What motivated me to do this, I couldn't find a dress form here in my town. They don't have them. Nowhere. I have looked everywhere. I have been to Walmart. I have been to um, uh, Michael's. I went to Joann's. I haven't tried a Hobby Lobby yet. I'm going there on um, the 11th when I see my doctors. And um, my husband, he's been out at the mall a couple of places and he's been looking and just no dress forms nowhere, you know. A whole town, Rocky Mount. I've been into eBay and I have called a couple of dress forms and I tried to bid on them and I got outbid. So I said, well, pooey, you know, I'm going to get my dress for me if I have to make it. And that's exactly what I am doing. So in the next couple of weeks or a couple of days, just depending on my timing, you guys are going to see my dress form. And it was designed by me. But I have given you motivation to where you can make your own dress form too if you want one. Okay, y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.